Okay, this is day two, solving systems by graphing. So what's different today is I have two equations to go with each of these problems. So take a minute, pause the video, copy this down. <coughs> All right, so now we just start, and each step is, step one is graph each line. So this one is in y equals mx plus b form. So we went over this yesterday. This is my slope, m. And this is my y-intercept b. So I'm going to start with b, and I'm going to graph my 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And then I'm going to graph my slope is 3 over 1. So I'm going to rise 3, run 1. So starting here, I'm going to go up 3 and over 1. And we can go the other way by just reversing these. Go 1, 2, 3, and 1 the other way. And put my dot there. There's my first line. Now the other one is in the standard form, so we're going to use the covered up method that we learned yesterday. I'm going to cover this part up, and I have 4x equals 8. Divide by 4, so I get x equals 2. I'm going to do this part. 2y equals 8, so y is 4. And I'm going to graph these two points. x is 2, 1, 2 y is 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, draw my line in, and then to find the solution, to find the solution to this system of equations, I'm going to find where they intersect. Well, they intersect right here at 0, 4. So my solution is 0, 4. That's it. All right, my next one, okay, this is our tricky lines that we had and we talked about yesterday. And I want to make sure that we reviewed them today. So if we look back at our notes from our tricky lines yesterday, an x equals line goes up and down, and a y equals line goes side to side. So this one, the y equals line is going to go side to side, and the x equals line is going to go up and down. So other than that, these are the easiest ones ever to graph. So the y is at 3, 1, 2, 3. Here's my y line. That's this one. And I'm going to graph the other one. The x is at negative 2. Here it is. And then I just need to find where they cross. They cross right here at negative 2, 3. So my solution is negative 2, 3. All right. If you haven't copied these down, pause and copy these down. Okay. So this first one is in standard form, so I can just use the cover it up method. X equals 2, and Y equals 2. X equals 2, Y equals 2. Draw our line. Now this other one is in Y equals MX plus B, <coughs> and the M here is M is negative 1. So I'm going to start with my Y equals 2, and I'm going to graph the B y is 2, 1, 2, and then I'm going to do my slope of rise negative 1, run 1. So rise 1, run 1, rise 1, run 1. And then what I notice is this green line is right on top of the purple line. Lines are on top of each other. When the lines are stacked up on top of each other like this, the answer is infinitely, infinitely many solutions. It's not all real numbers because it's just the points that are on these lines. Any point on these lines will work. So infinitely many solutions. All right, and our last one here. This is in our cover it up method, so I'm going to start and I'm going to cover this up. And I get 2x equals 6, so x equals 3. So I'm going to cover this part up, 3y equals 6, so y equals 2. I'm going to graph these, x is 3, 1, 2, 3, y is 2, 1, 2, graph that. There's my line. All right, now I'm going to do the other one. This one... If there's no B here, remember that's B is 0. So I'm going to start with my 0 here. 
and I'm going to do a slope of negative 2 over 3. So down 2 over 3. Down 2 over 1, 2, 3 right here. And what I've got here is these two lines are parallel. Meaning they don't ever cross. If they don't ever cross because they're parallel, the answer is uh, no solution. Or we can say our no solution like this, the circle with the slash to it that we learned before. That's it.